Grace and peace, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to this week's Sunday Reflection. The title for our reflection is Finding Peace for Your Souls. Taken from Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, where our Lord says, Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. This year, we note that on the Feast of All Souls, which we are celebrating, that it is the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War, the 1914-1918 war, where millions upon millions of souls perished on the battlefields. We ask ourselves, how can we help these souls to find rest? Well, the Church, in its wonderful wisdom knows that if we offer prayers, offer masses, offer works of charity, almsgiving, penance, we can, through these spiritual helps, enable these souls in purgatory to surmount the obstacle of the separation that they have from God, to find their way into that light, the beatific vision for which all souls are ordered. So, through our prayers, we can help souls find rest. And it was the Pope at the time of the war, the First World War, Pope Benedict the XV, who declared that in order for more masses to be uh, offered for these millions of souls, that the priests on this particular feast day of all souls were allowed to celebrate three Masses on that day. So we understand there is an efficacy uh, attached to offering Masses for the souls of the depart dearly departed. We see this uh, evidenced in 2 Maccabees 12 verse 45, 46, where we hear that it is a holy and wholesome thought to offer the sacrifices for the dead so that they might be released from their sin. This is what Judas Maccabeus did for those uh, uh, who had died in the battlefields. So we ask on this feast of all souls that we can do our part in helping souls to find rest through our prayers, and especially through offering the sacrifice of the Mass, uniting these souls to the Lord. Praise the Lord.